What's going on guys? I am Golden Boy and today I'm bringing you a digital unboxing on one of my favorite multiplayer games called Team Fortress 2. If you haven't played Team Fortress 2, I definitely recommend it. It's a free to play game and it's incredibly stupid and fun at the same time. You don't have to pay for anything which is the great part about it. The only reason you would pay for something is for cosmetic purposes only. As for today, I'm going to be unboxing a total of 14 items. The first nine are going to be crate series, so there are different series and they all consist of different items. For example, crate series number 25 consists of a flamethrower, the flare gun, the power jack, and a couple of other items, versus the crate series number 7 which comes with the charge and charge, the direct hit, and the bushwhacker, and again a lot of different items. But that's not really what you're looking for. What you're looking for is described at the very bottom and it's highlighted in blue and it says or an exceedingly rare series number one unusual hat. That is usually what you want is a unusual hat. And just to kind of drift off a little bit to describe the anatomy of objects, usually get three main um, identifications for a item so you get the regular which just kind of gives it the name and it's usually indicated as yellow as you can see around the item or you can get a strange which is then highlighted in orange and uh, it has a name such as strange but it levels up and it gives it a different name such as notably dangerous gold bocular or the gorse spattering rocket launcher and things like that and if you get a new unusual it comes in purple I unfortunately don't have an unusual which is why we're doing the unboxing maybe we can get lucky so you can get an unusual that comes in purple unusual sell for a good price and they're really cool to have the next two we have are the audition reels these are from the love and war update they come as taunts and it's cool to have some taunts for your characters it makes them look really stupid and uh, it's just fun to watch people use them and the last three things that we have to unwrap or unbox are the Manco store packages which can be gifted from a purchase or you can get them from the community market and they usually consist of general objects or items and they can be good or they can be bad usually they come out bad but you know it's free item so I'm not complaining so let's go to the first crates that we're going to unbox today it's gonna to be crate number series 25 use this go to the 125 yep I'm sure so cross your fingers let's hope we get something nice strange back burner I think I already have this I might have it it's pretty good um pretty good I don't like the penalty on the air blast but it is cool that you get um 100% crits I think that's still it 100% crits so let's go to number seven should have actually left it so I could have read it. Description tag. So this changes the description on your item for your anything in your backpack. So that just changes the the item name. I don't normally use this. I like to keep everything original just because I don't have anything that I want to change something with. <clears throat> so crate series number 19. Uncreating your loot. What is going to be my loot? The strange sticky bomb launcher. I am actually happy that I got this. I don't have one. The sticky bomb launcher is the default sticky bomb, so it doesn't have any pros or cons or have any abilities, so it's pretty normal, but it is cool to get because it is the default. Let's go for crate series number 25. <clears throat> The Strains Natasha. So on hit, you get a 100% chance to slow target 50% max primary ammo on where it has a negative 25% damage penalty and it's 30% slower to spin up. This is a restricted class weapon as you can see the picture up here for the heavy, the heavy. It's great to use if you're playing a lot of man versus machine if you're trying to stop the uh, the bots from getting closer if you don't have a good scout that has milk on your team you would use this just to slow down the uh, scouts and let the ng's sentry gun do the work so that's usually what's that for it might be other uses but normally i play a lot of uh pen versus machine and that's the reason we would ever use somebody with nastasha so the next crate oh man we only have four crates left 
color number 216-190-216. So don't really think I'll be using this paints. The only paints I really ever use is the team colored paints or on occasion I'll use Austrium or gold and the black. <clears throat> Crate series number 23, so let's go ahead and use that. We haven't really got that great items. We got a couple ones. The sticky bomb launcher in the back burner, okay. This strange sandman. I don't have one. I have a vintage sandman, so I definitely will replace this with the vintage. Um, so it's good to have. Alternative fire launches a ball that stuns opponents. So you basically hit somebody with a ball, and it's pretty cool because it does stun them. Um, if you were to use this, you would use it with the guillotine. It works really good with the guillotine because you stun them, you get the guillotine out, and you throw it, and it really creates a double hit. So, I guess that's good. It has a negative 15 max health on wear, which isn't too bad. Um, again, if you're playing man versus machine, you normally wouldn't use the strange, or not the strange, but the sandman. Probably, I would recommend using the fan of war. So let's go ahead and unbox our last two, number 16. This one contains a couple colors. Not sure if I want to use this now. I don't want a color. That's the same one I just opened, I believe. So let's actually open... I think we're going to open this anyway, but let's see if we can replace it with... Let's do this one. Let's do crate series number 8. If wrapped, uh, probably a mistake. I probably have I'm not really happy about that, but it is what it is. So we're not gonna use one of these. Uh, which one? Don't I, w I don't want to use 16 at all. So I'm just gonna throw this all the way in the back, so that way it doesn't even show up. And then we're going to use this on number 25. So up here. Crate series number 25. Did not read what it was going to be. The Strange Flamethrower. Do I already have this? Yes. No, wait. No. Okay, great. That works. I'll take it. Didn't already have one, so it's good to have one now. And our final great series there's still a chance that you can get an unusual taunt but i mean this is going to be our last chance to get an unusual hat or anything of that nature with the final which consists of the extinguisher the black box the islander the razorback tough guys toke and the frenchman's brick i'm really looking forward towards the black box if i can get a strange black box i'll be satisfied uh, let's see Yes, exactly. I was hoping for that. <laughs> so the black box is my favorite weapon to use as the soldier because you get a plus 15 bonus when you hit somebody. And in Man vs. Machine, there are a ton of scouts. So as soon as you drop a, um, a missile in the middle of the floor and it hits a bunch of scouts, you'll get a lot of health back. The only problem about this is the clip size. Instead of getting four missile shots, you'll get three before you have to reload. I don't find it at all bad because, I mean, again, I play a lot of man versus machine, so the reload, you set that up as high as it can go and you don't have a problem, but that's great. I was looking forward to the strange black box. So let's go to our final items that will use keys or require us to use keys and again I will be going back and looking at all the items so we can kind of like determine which ones are good and which ones are eh, okay so let's get a good taunt I hope it's not a taunt I already have I will be upset oh <laughs> I have to show you this one this is my favorite taunt and the fact that I got this I'm I'm glad. The taunt Rancho's Relaxo, it's for the NG and it makes the NG become a completely lazy slob. I'll show you at the end of the video, but it's great. I love this taunt. By far my favorite taunt. We already came out with a win with that one. So use the final key. This is going to be our last key. There we go. Yes, I am sure. 
don't think I'm gonna get a unusual, but still get a good taunt here. The Fresh Brood Victory. Uh, I love the soldier, but I wasn't too happy with this taunt at all. Um, I'm not sure why. Just wasn't a good taunt. So, that's all I have to say about that. So let's go into our uh, general store gift wrapped items. These usually aren't ever good, but it's still good to have them just because you get something random. And uh, yeah, we'll use it. Uncreating your loot. So the half Satoichi. I already have the half Satoichi. I don't know how you say it. What do you say? Satoichi or Satoichi? Mm, probably the half Satoichi. Maybe. But yes, I already have it. Why does it only show one? Huh. That's weird. I already had it, but I guess it's not showing it again. Anyway, let's go to the next one. So again, these are just general items that you'll get. Not that good. From my experience, at least. The rain blower. Uh, probably not something I care about. I never use the rain blower just because it's, uh, you have to visit it in Pyroland. And then again, we'll go back and look at the descriptions and, you know, go through them. Slower and, you know. The Spicicle. Spicicle is for the spy. Um, I used to use it a lot. It used to be my favorite for the spy until I got the better one. I'll show you that one in a second. So that's all for our unboxings. Uh, not so bad. So the first one, we're going to go backwards. We're going to go with the Spicicle. The Spicicle is a level 1. I never understood the levels in Team Fortress 2, so I'm not even going to bother even mentioning the levels. It's a spy restricted weapon. It's a silent killer. No attack noise from backstabs. On hit by fire becomes fireproof for 2 seconds. The negative is backstab turns victim into ice, melts in fire, regenerates after 15 seconds. The description is, it's the perfect gift for the man who has everything. An icicle driven into their back. Even rich people can buy that in stores. So pretty cool, pretty cool. The rain blower, unequipped, visit Pyroland, only visible in Pyroland. See, that's the thing I don't like. I never use Pyroland because it makes my screen very, very, very laggy and hard to see. I don't like using anything that involves me using um, the pyro goggles or going into Pyroland. I'm not fond. Of, I'm not really fond of it. So the description for this one is your friend's enemies will squeal with delight, be consumed with fire when you cover them in sparkly rainbows or all-consuming fire. Equips Pyrovision. They have Saitoichi on kill restores your health 100%, but it is honor bound. One straw cannot be see. What does that say? It cannot be put away until it kills. Soldiers and demos can be can duel with katanas for one hit kill. So that's pretty cool. Can duel with katanas. Huh. See, I didn't know that. Oh, I guess that's just the description. But um, it's pretty cool. The only problem is that once you draw it, and if you draw it by accident, which is a huge bummer, if you draw it by accident, you will have to kill somebody, and um, it's not good if you don't mean to, you run out of ammo and it comes up and you have to hold it there, so you're kind of stuck with having to kill someone or until you die. The Fresh Brood Victory, the special taunt for the soldier, not something that I'm proud of, it's not really that good. I might end up trading it for something better, I'm not fond of it. I'm a huge soldier, soldier is my favorite class, but I wasn't happy with this taunt at all. The Rancho's Relaxo, Engineer's Taunt, definitely happy I got this one. This is my favorite taunt in all of TF2. It was absolutely hilarious when I first saw it. The strange black box on hit 50% health or plus 15 health with a negative 25 clip size. Favorite, 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 favorite weapon to use as soldier and it probably will be my favorite. I think it will be considered my favorite weapon in all of TF2. There's a couple up there but this one is definitely high. The Strange Flamethrower. I'm happy I have that one. I never had it before, so I'm good to get that one now. Um, gift wrapped. Kind of useless to me. One of the useless items I'll never use at all. 
The strange Sandman don't think I have a strange, so it's always good to have a strange. This launches a ball that stuns opponents and it has a negative 15 max health on wear, so it's not too bad. Negative 15 health isn't that bad. Um, it works if you are trying to combine, you know, um, a stun and a guillotine. Color number, I don't usually use this color. Won't match any of my outfits or anything like that. <clears throat> the strange Natasha, eh, it's okay. I don't think I'll use it. I already have a lot of them as you can see. I have three strange Natashas, so I might end up giving maybe one away or two, trading them. I'm not sure what I'll do with them, but I don't really need three. Uh, didn't know I had three until now. That's pretty disappointing now that I see that. The Strange Sticky Bomb Launcher, I'm kind of happy that I got that. Um, it's always good to get default Stranges because you don't have them and um, it's nice. The description tag, I definitely will be trading this with the, uh, the gift wrap just because I don't normally ever use them. I for sure won't use this. This I probably won't ever use. So yeah. And finally, the Strange Backburner. The Backburner deals 100% crits from behind and it has a negative effect of plus 150% air blast cost so if you're playing pyro to use air blast this is probably not the weapon you want to use clearly um, usually the weapons that you use in man vs machine is the um, phlogistonator I think that's what it's called I'm not sure what it's called um, I equipped it now so I'll look at it and the regular flamethrower just because you want to use the um, air blast air blast is uh, is essential. So yeah, the Phil Geistinator, I think I'm pronouncing that right. That's the one that um, I usually use. So not a bad unboxing. It is 14, you know, things, give or take the last three that were completely useless. These ones really wouldn't consider them a good unboxing. Um, you know, I did it for the hell of it. So technically 11 uncreated items. So yeah, still good nonetheless. Got a couple good items as it is, but didn't get anything that I had thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to get at least a couple cosmetics. Did not get that, so still have my original outfits for my classes, which aren't too bad. I think I set them up pretty good. Let's actually equip that now. So let's put the strange black box. I guess you can see I already had it equipped. For the original one, I was using the Beggar's Bazooka just because um, it's great to use in Team Fortress for Man vs. Machine. Oh man, if I got a strange... This Beggar's Bazooka, I don't even know what series this comes in. It'd be a good question to look into, so then I can try to get that one. The Scout, did we get anything for the Scout? I don't like this getup at all. Uh, this one's okay. It's kind of Halloween. Speaking of which, Halloween is coming up. Cool. I can definitely keep this. So this is the guillotine, the flying guillotine. You use it with the Sandman. And again, I had a vintage. I didn't have a strange. Now we have a strange. So now we can use the strange. And yeah. What else did we get something for? We got something for the pyro. Get the strange flamethrower. Don't know why I don't have the strange shotgun equipped. But I do have that. And do I actually? No, I don't. It would have been nice to have all strange weapons, but I don't have the regular fire axe. I'm not really sure of a good weapon melee for the pyro. Don't usually use melee for pyro, so I keep the default fire axe. This one I do use the sticky bomb launcher unless I'm using the tide turn and going demo night, but in this case I'm going to use the strange sticky bomb launcher and uh, keep that as it is. For the heavy, we had the strange Natasha, definitely not going to use that. We have three strange Natashas and a vintage, so we have four of these. Probably give two away or trade them. If anybody wants them, uh, definitely just send me a message and I'll, you know, uh, consider, consider it. Strange shotgun, uh, what do we get for, oh yeah, definitely got the, the taunt, have to show you that. The Rancho's Relaxo. <laughs> I'll show you that when uh, I get into the game just because it looks absolutely hilarious. But that is my NG. Probably my favorite class to play just because of the way he looks. Uh, the Medic, we didn't get anything for the Medic. No, we did not. Sniper, Spy. 
No, we didn't get anything for the spy. We had the spicicle, but that was definitely out of strange. Just a regular item. I don't have any strange. Oh, yeah, I do. I have a strange diamond back. But yes, as I said, one of my top favorite things to use is the kill streak. Well, not kill streak, but just the sharp dresser. My favorite item to use at the moment just because it is from Assassin's Creed. So I thought that was really cool. And uh, forgetting something. I'm forgetting something here. What am I forgetting? Uh, that's right, the uh, Soldier's Taunt. Even though I'm not a fan of it, I'll go ahead and show you what it does. It's okay, but um, I can't say it was my favorite one. Uh, definitely could have been more creative with that. Probably want to change my uh, soldier's getup one day. I kind of got bored of the one I currently have. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a comment if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, take care and stay golden. Ah, oh. 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 life of Riley. Hmm.